All right, it's Monday. I think it's the 28th of March. I'm not 100% sure. These guys are here with this equipment. We've got a tracked skidster and obviously a bulldozer. I'm in love with both of them. There's something about big equipment. I don't know if it's genetic, where it came from, but I love this stuff. So I talked to the guy who's running it. His name is Trevor. He's cool with the video. And they're gonna bring about eight loads of fill in order to grade the entire slope. I talked about what my long-term plans are in terms of landscaping. He appreciated that. And my landscape guy is gonna be coming out at 10 o'clock. So I'll get to talk to him. They're gonna put some traffic bond on the driveway so that it seals up better. So during the summer, it's a better surface to drive on. I've gotten so used to that big funky rock that I just accepted as being normal. And Trevor sort of said, nah, and just reminded me it's not normal. So it's good to see, life is good. It's nice to see something being done because this is one of the issues uh, the grade and the exposed pink insulation, which you can see over there, which has kept us from getting the occupancy permit from the city of Franklin. There are other issues, of course, but that's for another video. So today is gonna be moving dirt, grading, fill, some countertops, landscape architect, just sort of hanging out and doing stuff. And it's, uh, gosh, 35 degrees. It's overcast. It sort of reminds me of Washington State. It's amazing how the weather's the same all over the world, pretty much. Trevor's a very pleasant guy. See how he does. He's been pushing dirt and running equipment for a decade. Works for his father. And that's about it. So I'll be back. There's nothing like a big piece of equipment pushing dirt and they're pushing dirt and I love it oh I better go talk to Trevor he may be putting dirt where we don't necessarily need dirt and he's a smart guy and I suspect if I tell him the plans it'll become easier all the way around so be around the corner taking a look at Trevor and he's doing his thing uh -oh, Wasco Windows is here they're putting the door in. This will be an interesting conflict, but they're cool guys. We're heating up the seam here. Oh God, that's hot. Yeah, don't, don't touch it. <laughs> what, you know, you tell me not to touch it 10 it's minutes. It's like a kid, you're gonna touch it anyways. Ooh. And so it heats up the glue. It heats up the glue so it's actually easier to separate the pieces. And for without, those of you- Without really trying to chip anything. Oh, and you're doing a great job. And for those of you who weren't here, you could hear this incredible pop. I thought there was like a nine millimeter being shot on in the street, but this is not the north part of Milwaukee. So I was pretty sure that that didn't happen. And uh, so we're splitting off this top because yours truly was a goofball and got the wrong sink. So I'll be okay, back. Okay, folks. This is the nuttiest day I've had in a long time. Trevor is spreading yeah, not the world's best topsoil, but topsoil. God, he's good with this bulldozer. Oh yeah, he is good with the bulldozer. I've watched a number of people with bulldozers. And last year, I got to run one for about an hour. God, that's hard to do. That takes some real finesse to do. We've got the guy swapping out the door, which was destroyed. And we have Top Shop. Uh, taking out the bad quartz. Well, it's not bad. It's simply because we got the wrong sink. So it's a lovely day. I'll be having a scattering of, of different videos. So if you wonder why it all seems to be a little disconnected, it's because we got three guys, three trades working today. And it's noisy. God, look at that. Gotta hit the side of the building in a heartbeat. Just amazing. Just amazing. Look at that. Wow. So, 
know, going to be walking around. I do this so that friends and family can know what's going on. And at the same time, in the years to come, I actually have an idea of what happened and why it happened. And to lay down some cardboard because <laughs> there's mud and dirt everywhere here. And I want to give Nikki, the lady who's doing the cleaning, a fighting chance not to have to do it all over again. Although she's ready to. Oh, you're laying down the heated strip on the next section. Okay. That area? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's already coming apart here. Oh, and this thing spreads it apart? Yeah, yep. You ever seen this? I saw it putting it together. Yeah. I didn't see it spreading it apart. You just use the same thing for taking it apart. Oh. The pressure so it comes apart. So literally it's like Karate Kid, wax on, mm -hmm. wax off. Yep. I'm wiping off. <laughs> hey, I'm recording oh, this. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Jeez, sorry for that. YouTube will <laughs> ban me because they misinterpreted so slacking off for some you other are not word. Politically correct. Um, he said the, he he said slacking. It might I'm rhyme with something. Off. He was slack. Jeez, is that a euphemism? I don't no, know where we're going never. with this thing. <laughs> what are you doing, honey? Oh, I'm no, I'm slacking gonna get. You. All right, these are the Wasco guys replacing the full light door today it's warm enough that the vinyl can be messed with and Frank at Wasco said yeah it's good this time and you can tell that we're having to work on top of dirt which Trevor is doing And you guys know vinyl, don't you? You know siding. Well, <laughs> I'm being serious, of course. You got extra nails and siding material? Uh, I don't know. That's an excellent question. Let me go check. I'll be back. Basically, there were these two pieces uh, right here, which are your nailing flanges that run up the side of the door. Yeah. And neither one was connected. They weren't nailed. No. That's so they were why just the there. door was falling out of the Oh, old. that explains it. So that and they nailed these on with the framing nailer for some reason. And when you nailed what on with the framing nailer? The door. Oh, and it's not they supposed just to took be. a nailer and Oh, so every single window has been done that way. Oh yeah. Hey, I mean you can see all these nails. This is where they tried and didn't connect and Oh, so it went right loose. through the framing. Oh, yeah. So what you're saying is they did, it rhymes with pity. Yeah, oh, yeah. And begins with an S and an H. Oh, yeah, very should. Yeah, see, I don't use those words because I'm too... <laughs> yeah. So that's why this thing just busted right off. Oh, yeah, there was nothing. I mean... There was nothing all holding I did it. was cut the tape and pry it loose from the wall. Yeah? And it came right out of the old thing. Oh, my God. And then three or four pieces of siding this far, like that mark that you could see here. Yeah. That's from them taking this piece and cramming it around here. So that's what you're seeing is this is from being bent. Oh, this? Yeah, right here, this little mark on here. Oh. Because normally these are removable. I don't know why maybe these style aren't, but they definitely aren't coming off the wall. <laughs> so, that's what you're seeing on here. It's is the, from that's them it's taking bent. this piece and just cramming it around this box to get back onto where it needs to Oh, sit. so this box can't come off. No, yeah, it's that's there forever. The wall, right? yeah. But you got the right there. Uh, four or five pieces of your siding had no nails. Uh, they were just hanging there. Yeah. I know you will. Hopefully the nails are the right nails. Oh yeah. And All right. I don't, this would never be an install nail. And that's ever. what they did on which part? On up all of it, around all the around part. the side. They missed probably a bunch because it didn't connect and it kept falling loose. So that's why there's one, two, three, four, five. That's six, where there's seven, more eight. nails than there are. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Oh, so in your plot ways, you was telling me they didn't know what they were doing. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. As okay. far as these, yeah. <laughs> I mean, in terms of the installation of the door. Yeah, cool. And that. I, did they also do the same thing with the windows? My I guess is they're probably all done the same way. Okay. All right, well, thank you, gentlemen. No worries.